Laravel provides us a very interesting way to configure some specific values depending of the environment when we are. For example, it is very common that the database connection details change depending on the server. For example, if we are in the production server, the username and the password will be different than the development server or the development environment. So in that cases, we want to use the environment variables or the environment file. If we open the structure of our project, we can find a .amp file. The .amp file is based on the .amp .example file. Basically, when we install Laravel, what it does is copy this file and create a new one with this new name and generating a new app key. So, as you may remember, some configuration values in some of those files are being taken from the AMP file directly. For example, the app AMP or the app the book are taken directly from here. So, if you want to change the environment of your project, you just need to change this value here. For example, if we are in local, it is okay here in your computer, but if you are in the production server, probably this value should be production. One thing that we need to change right now is the app URL. This app URL should be RESTfulAPI.dev. In this way, Laravel will know which URL we see. For example, when we are performing testings with Laravel Dusk or when we are generating links inside of our mails. So, the other details are, for example, the DB connection. We are using MySQL, so you may need to change this if you are using something like Postgres or SQLite or similar stuff. And additionally, you can change the name of the database, the username, or the password for the username of the database. In our case, as we define the database as Homestead in the Homestead YAL file, when the Homestead virtual machine was created, it automatically creates a Homestead database with a Homestead user and a password as secret. So basically, we don't need to change this and we want to keep it like the same. It applies for the other values, but of course you can make a little research about that and we are going to see in the future classes how to use some of them and how to add new values or new environment variables directly in this file and how to use it. You can see that basically you need to change this file every time that you have a variable that will change its value depending on the environment. So for example, if at any moment you want to use a value that wants to change depending on the environment, you add this here, but you don't use it directly. You use it through a configuration value. It is not a good idea, as I said, to use directly the AMP helper. You should use the config helper to obtain the configuration of a value, which additionally obtain that value directly for the environment. It is not absolutely required, but it is a very good practice and maybe it's going to allow you to avoid any kind of problems in the future. So we are ready now. See you in the next class.